The Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird. This aircraft will work very well for the Galactic Empire. It has many intriguing aspects beyond its technical specifications and operational use. This military reconnaissance aircraft was developed by Lockheed Skunk Works Division. Its inaugural flight was on December 22, 1964, and was introduced into service in January 1966. A total of 32 aircraft were built, each measuring 107 feet 5 inches in length, with a wingspan of 55 feet 7 inches. On July 28, 1976, the SR-71 set an absolute speed record for air-breathing manned aircraft that still stands today, flying at 2,193.2 miles per hour, about Mach 3.3. On the same day, it also set an absolute altitude record for operational aircraft by flying at 85,069 feet. It has a high heat tolerance construction, made primarily of titanium. Able to withstand heat to over 500 degrees Fahrenheit 260 degrees Celsius during flight. This expansion due to heat caused the aircraft to leak fuel when it was on the ground. This caused it to only be fully sealed once it reached operational temperatures and speeds. The aircraft was nicknamed Habu by locals in Okinawa, Japan, likening it to a local venomous snake. This nickname stuck among the SR-71 crews and enthusiasts and is still commonly used today. The Blackbird was equipped with a highly advanced navigation system for its time, known as the ANS, Astro Inertial Navigation System. With this system, it could automatically correct its flight path by star sighting, making it one of the first aircraft to use celestial navigation for precise movements. It was developed by Lockheed Skunk Works, a secretive division led by the legendary engineer Clarence Kelly Johnson. The project was so classified that its existence was not publicly acknowledged for many years. Because it didn't have weapons on board, it used speed as a defense. The SR-71 could outrun virtually every missile and enemy aircraft. Its standard evasive action against a surface-to-air missile was simply to accelerate and outfly the missile. Despite its advanced technology, the reconnaissance system was operated without modern digital computers. The cameras and sensors were highly sophisticated, but it had to rely on the pilots and reconnaissance systems officer, RSO, to manage them effectively without the aid of digital processing or automation common in later aircraft. Because speed was its biggest advantage, this performance is largely attributed to its two Pratt and Whitney J-58 P-4 engines. These turbojets had afterburners capable of producing 32,500 pounds of thrust each and had a nine-stage axial compressor with a canannular combustor. The J-58's design which enables it to function like a ramjet at high speeds by bypassing air directly to the afterburner, was pivotal for the Blackbird's high-speed cruise capabilities. Extensive maintenance requirements were a must especially with it focused on supersonic efficiency. The SR-71 had a range of 2,900 nautical miles, carrying advanced avionics for its time, including radar, cameras, and ECM systems, with a two-person crew consisting of the pilot and the RSO. Its design and capabilities made it a paramount example of Cold War-era high-speed reconnaissance, ingenuity and engineering prowess, embodying extreme performance and secrecy. Its legacy continues to fascinate aviation enthusiasts and professionals around the world.